I'm going to be doing a little, well, see, my base is not done by any means. Literally, we spent like three days doing just the underneath of it. So pretty much, if you try, if you found my base, you probably pretty easily get in. Just for the fact that we have no upper, like, upper wall um, defenses or anything like that. But our base is, well, because we know that Ender Pro glitching is a major thing on this server. Everybody does it, yada, 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 it's whatever. But, um, well, well what is that? Is there like a crate key or something? Exotic X, uh, whatever. Who knows? Anyways, it's a pretty solid underbelly defense, I guess. I don't know how to say it. But basically what I'm going to be doing here is filling up this little area with obby and then putting one more layer which would be crafting table which kind of, it's, oh wow, actually I should have done the crafting table first and then put lobby after that. Might have to fix that. I'll do that off camera but basically I just want to show you guys that the underneath is pretty solid. Um, I'm gonna make sure F map is off, just because I don't feel like getting raided today or tomorrow. Anyways, when this is done, this is gonna be one hell of a base for Mr. Icy, whatever. I don't know his name to be honest. Icy TV or something like that. It's gonna be one hell of a base for him to do a video on, because as you guys always know, we make our bases fucking flawless pretty much. And the defenses that go into it are insane. Basically, after that obby line, all that up is uh, our base. And all of it down is all um, unglitch layer or glitch layers, whatever the fuck they're called. I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what they're called. Don't hate on me. But I'm going to go ahead and set a home here. Um base work there we go and let's go ahead and tp into the actual base itself so i can just go ahead and mine through all of the layers and you guys can see just how much fucking anti-glitch layers we have on this base and if you manage to get through here kudos to you you deserve the fucking raid because i feel like this would be one hell of a base to glitch into this is the setup it is going to be a creeper farm slash chest vault thing yeah um, it's got one, two, three, four, crafting table, which I'm going to go ahead and get my axe out of my PV, and crafting table, so which is five, and then six, seven, and then this, like, TP glitch layer, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. I'm going to go ahead and gapple up. It's at 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 53, 54, 55, 55 layers of fucking um, anti-glitch shit, and that's not even counting the water, if you would even count the water as a layer. Basically, what I'm trying to say here is this base is going to be pretty difficult to TP glitch into, I'd say. Because we do have quite a few layers of these, cra like the crafting table, you know, the, uh, the whole furnace thing. Because if you're curling, you'd have to, like, shift and go up. And it's just, yeah, that's... I don't want to say it's impossible, but I would say that it would take you a lot of time and you would probably not enjoy yourself whatsoever. I'm trying to, like, go up here without 
Okay, there we go. I can just ride this shit up. There we go. Okay. And now we got to replace our shit there. There. And bar. And I believe bar. And what the fuck? Okay, so I, nah, I didn't actually mess it up. <laughs> I feel like such a fucking noob right now. Oh no, I wouldn't want to die on this video, so let's go ahead and gap up again. But yeah, I would definitely say. Oh, okay, that's where my last one is. I would definitely say that the TP glitch aspect, I don't think you're going to do very well. I think your best bet would be, and I'm not going to tell you guys how to fucking raid my base, but. I would say you guys are gonna need to be pretty advanced at cannoning because, ah, uh, like I said, I'm not the kind of guy that says, "Oh, my base is unraidable. I can't be raided." Anything's raidable with the um, with time and the knowledge of like building cannons and whatnot. But for the average Joe guy don't really think that it's gonna be a possible thing just to like flying around you know I can make a fucking hybrid can well that's sorry dude that's not really gonna do anything just for the fact that the sand would just drop into the fucking end you can't stack in the end um pretty much the only way would be to fucking scatter it or um, not scatter but uh airburst sometimes would do it but that's just getting through defense number one. We're going to be doing crazy fucking walls. We're going to do, um, I think, 95s or 45s, whatever they are. I think they're, f I think they're 45s. Um, be doing checkerboards, everything like that. So, please don't come looking for us. Well, you're going to look for us, but whatever. Who cares, right? This is factions. That's what it's for. But now you guys know, we're in the game, we're ready, we're gonna start really going ape shit on this server. I mean, we've we've kind of been on the down low of making a base as since we started, because it's, uh, as soon as we, people know we're in the game, they're gonna start looking for us, so it's just like, meh, might as well just kind of wait a little bit. And then, we might say something, and this is what we're gonna have, I'm gonna change all these spawners into creeper, and we're gonna have all these set up in there. And get the exotic juices in you. It's so fucking nice, dude. Anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this. And I will be seeing you guys on the next episode. Probably doing some, like, raids or review here or something. And, uh, enjoy. Peace out.